new day and it's a completely new trip not the way I want it to be uh, you see I'm hand steering my autopilot crapped out during the night I was uh, flying the code zero doing about four knots four knots and a half in a very very light wind and uh, for some reason like looks to be looks like a a cable network problem. I had changed all the cable that are here in my cockpit at the exterior, but I left the old cable and uh, the rest of the system. And that old rig is like 10 years old. Uh, it's a Garmin rig and it's served me well. Like, uh, the boat has got 55,000 miles. Uh, all of that is 10 years old. So for, I guess for any kind of electronic to last 10 years old, now make it that, make that a, um, um, a marine electronic like 10 years old is a good life expectancy uh, all that to say that I've tried putting some some contact cleaner on it I, I tried to disconnect and reconnect the wires start reboot I've tried it pretty much <laughs> a lot of iterations tonight uh, I just couldn't get that thing to work uh, uh, in a reliable manner anymore so it's done three days and uh, it's gone now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to use it anymore so uh, I have about 2300 miles to go to the Marquesas yeah I'm still thinking I'm going I mean it's a bummer not having an autopilot it's gonna be it's gonna suck and it's not gonna be the nice easy trip that I that I wanted to have although the conditions are just near perfect and they're forecasted to stay perfect that way. The rest of the boat is in good health, uh, like the sails, the standing rig, uh, everything on the boat, the electrical system that I don't kind of need that much anymore. Uh, well, I do need it for uh, weather downloads and Starlink and all that kind of stuff, but the electrical system doesn't have any crap. It's just my, my marine electronics. So insurance is paid. I've been planning for that trip for a long time. I could turn around and in three days I could be in uh, in Mexico. No more than three days. And I have a full tank of fuel. I haven't used any fuel since I've gone. Uh, I've used like no fuel at all since I left uh, Punta Mita in uh, Banderas Bay. I want to see the Marquesas. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to go for so long and I've thrown everything I could to that boat to make it as as in good state and as reliable as it can possibly be. Uh, the electronics, I knew the autopilot was a risk on that trip. I, uh, I would have liked to buy another one, I just didn't have the five or six thousand dollars that this whole brand new electronic kit would cost. So I decided not to buy one, well, I decided, I, I didn't decide, I, I had no money to, <laughs> I just didn't have the cash to, to buy it. But the good news is, it's a Selden rig, which I love my Selden rig. I love all the Garmin stuff too, don't get me wrong. Like, again, I'm, where's your iPhone from 10 years ago? So you can't fault Garmin for, uh, for something like that. Um, should have bought some brand new stuff or should have found more money, I don't know, but I'm going. I'm going to make it to the Marquesas, I got 2300 miles to go. Uh, it's kind of slow still, I'm doing about 5 knots now, 4.5, and because I'm head steering, I'm not going to go as much in a straight line, I'll try to do my best, and I'll have to take some break there and fill the sail and give myself some time to rest and, and recuperate as I go, because I'm not going to be able to pull... Uh, 16, 17, 18 days straight like that, which you can't, uh, there's a limit to everything. But uh, we're gonna go old school for lack of a better word. We'll see what it gives us. Um, so, hey, I've seen a lot of people subscribing. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. It really uh, helps me. Uh, I, so, hopefully, this without a pilot solo single handing thing is gonna be a uh, a bit more of a <laughs> of an interest perk so thanks for following this channel and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow